gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized for one minute. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm in support of this motion this morning, but for a very important reason. The politics here is thicker than the main molasses. But if you take time and you go back and you talk to the real job creators in your district, you'll see the common sense approach that's being uh, detailed right here to look for a solution. The House has already voted. We have supported the idea of passing the payroll tax. We've passed that bill. We've supported the reimbursement for the doctors so we can continue to create certainty in the relationships between doctors and their patients. We've passed that bill. Now we've got to come back and work out the differences, but when the difference becomes a two-month extension, it defies common sense. I sat this morning and spoke with one of the uh, individuals who is a tax accountant in my district. The quarterly tax return is the way so many small businesses do their work. The quarterly tax return, a three-month situation. This bill will require us to go and just change these forms all over the country. Let me just close by my comments by the words from the NFIB. Employers don't have correct withholding calculations. We'll have to figure out to collect more employees and amend their employment tax returns later next year, which may increase their chances for an audit. This is the kind of insanity that we're looking at small businesses being audited because Congress can't do their work. Mr. Speaker. Time has expired. I yield. Gentlelady from New York.